Hi, welcome to another segment of Home Sweet Home. Today we get to see another one bedroom deluxe over in Cameo. I can't wait to show you. She did a great job decorating. Come on in. Hello, Inga. Hi, Mickey. How are you? I'm good. Good to see you. <laughs> you too. Thank you for letting us come into your home. You're very welcome. Welcome. Is, well, thank you. We are here with Mickey Huff, who moved here to Shell Point in December. Mm -hmm. So it's been about five months, and she has done a fantastic job with decorating. And you've done some wonderful little decor that I can't wait to show decorating tips good, that we can share with good. other people. It's very, very comfortable. So. Well, I love it. Yeah. So we're going to start off here in the kitchen. Why don't you tell us what you did here in the kitchen? Kitchen. Um, we redid, or I redid the uh, countertops and the backsplash. Um, basically, that was it. The people who had the unit before had done the floors. And this is a beautiful type of a granite. Is it granite or uh, quartz? It's quartz. It's beautiful. Yes, I love I'm the little gold flecks in it and everything. Very pleased. Yeah. Very, very pleased. Looks wonderful. And I still uh, cook a lot, so it's perfect, perfect kitchen. So when I look out here into your living room and your porch with a beautiful view out there of the green grass, I've noticed that you have a lot of influence of, I see oriental, some oriental artwork. I see some different items that you had told me come from different travels because you and right. your husband traveled all around the world. Traveled a lot, yes. Why don't you tell us about your living room and what you did in here? Um, you know, I um, obviously you can see I don't have a dining table. I just decided to make it all living room because usually it's just me having dinner. One thing I noticed is you've got some beautiful um, art here that you said you got in Hong Kong. We got artwork from Hong Kong. And back over here. We've got travel me memorabilia here. I know you said that when you moved here you had to condense yes. and get rid of some things. So what you did was is over here you said I'm going to put a little something from each place that we visited yes. throughout the world. And so what's great is when you look at one thing, it reminds you of that trip. Yes, exactly. Um, I love my that. My husband was one that didn't just buy one. He bought six or eight because we're going to give them away. And then he wouldn't give them away. So we <laughs> had just massive cabinets. And the other thing I thought was adorable is that you had a frog I collection. I have a frog collection. And I know you said that this was the very first frog that right. you bought from your granddaughter. Right. So tell us the story because um, I thought it was cute. I actually am fearful of tree frogs, my grandchildren can tell you, but so this started it all because we had bought a house that we were remodeling and had, the house had been empty for several, several months. In every, it had the old crank out windows, in every single window were giant tree frogs that we had to get rid of. So this frog started it, my granddaughter gave me this frog in 91 when she was probably three or four. She's now turning 31 this year. So they grew. I got rid of probably half of them. Well, they're adorable, kept. and I think it's cute how your grandchildren got a kick out of it and gave, it, gave you things that they thought that you might enjoy. And I love it. I could look at each one and say I like them. So Inga, the other piece that I wanted to show you is a piece that one of my granddaughters made for me. Um, the piece of driftwood is actually from Lover's Key that she found walking on the beach. The glass is cut from bottles, and I think it's lovely. And I hang it wherever I live. Wow, so. very nice and special. Yeah. Now, this was something I thought was, I've not seen here. Oh, and the shutters? The shutters. For a lot of times when people come here, you know, they're on the first floor and they want a little privacy, but right. they still want to get a lot of light. Right. And usually they will put either um, blinds, Venetian blinds, or um, sometimes they leave them open or they put shears or they even put room darkening shades. Right. I've never seen something like this. So tell me how you went about getting this. They are plantation shutters. You can open them both ways. You can open it this way. You can put them all that way put them all this way. Um, seldom do I open them. I just, I leave them yeah. uh, closed like this, but, but I even leave the shutter, um, the shutter part open. 
obviously there's, you know, in the evening, there's nobody back here. Yeah. Um, it's very well lit. Um, so. Well, and one of the nice things about living in the building that you do here at Cameo is that you are so close to the Island Cafe, oh, you're it's close wonderful. to the library, the crystal. You're close to everything. Yeah. It's just wonderful. In the, a lot of the apartments here in the garden apartments, I think we have discussed with people is you have a choice. One choice is you can use the laundry room if you'd like that we have located on each floor, which are very nice and you get two washing machines and two dryers. They're not coin operated. There's no cost for that. So you can do that. And then sometimes people will actually put a stackable washer and dryer in their apartment and that's what you chose to yes, do. Yes, it fits right in here nicely. It takes up a little bit of your pantry, but I mean, let's face it, for one person, it's not like I'm buying a month's supply of groceries. And now we're going to come this way into your bedroom. You did something really unique and I can't wait to show this and share this with a Good, I love it. Is. So tell us here, this room is beautiful. I um, love how you did this. I wanted this room to be kind of beachy, like beach cottage. So I, I had contemplated putting um, real wood on this wall, which I thought is going to be a pain to find somebody to do it and do it right. So my son, who has his own wallpaper business, said, Mom, they make paper now that looks so much like wood, you almost have to touch it to be sure it's not. So he hung the paper for me, and I think it does look like wood. Well, I tell you, when I walked in here, the first yeah. thing I did was I walked over here and I went, Wow, yeah. I thought I thought it was real. Yeah, because it looks like it's flaking. Yeah, even you no, know, so. it really looks like a little beach cottage. Yeah, it's perfect. now this is a queen size bed, queen size. and if you look here, look at all the room you have I do here. Have a lot of room. You've got a spot over here for your desk, desk, and there's still plenty of room for another TV, mm -hmm. chest of drawers, beautiful artwork. Then the other thing, show them your closet. You oh. have more space come in. It really, it really is nice. This is just a, a feature you can put in your unit. Um, more space did this, um, and it is built in. Um, it's there, uh, stationary. It gives you all the extra drawers, and you can reconfigure. It doesn't have to be like this. I just kind of like this when it gives me lots of shelves and drawers and. A high shelf, oh, I think even for luggage, like you like, sure. oh, this is so small, where am I going to put luggage? Fits perfect up there. We are so happy that you're here, and you are a blessing to be here as well, and thank you for letting us see your Oh, home. thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. All righty.